here is my workout set for today. And then I'm gonna put on good old Princeton hoodie. Let's go. So I just got back from yoga. Yoga? It was like a strengthening, a strength training class. Um, kind of like Tabata style, which I actually really like. It was fun. It was 45 minutes instead of 60, which core power, like the yoga sculpt, which is the one I normally go to, is 60 minutes. So it's kind of nice and like made me push myself a little harder. It was a really good way to start my Saturday. Also just felt really good to shower. I lit my candle, have my music. It was good. Good vibes. I'm gonna get ready for the day. It's Saturday, so I don't have work today. Um, and I actually have Monday off too. Today my plan is mostly to edit a wedding video that I took. I've done wedding photography before, but I've never done wedding video. And it was so fun. It was like, so, so fun. It was really stressful leading up to it, but then once it happened, it was just awesome. So now I have to edit it. So I'm gonna edit today, tomorrow, and Monday and try to finish it this weekend. That's the goal, but it's a big project, so we'll see. So that's like my main thing today. Also, um, why am I here in Boston? I'm in Boston for an internship at Boston Children's Hospital. It's the same internship that I did last summer. It's in the otolaryngology head and neck surgery department. And um, it's, such a cool internship. I'm so happy to be doing it again. I had such a good time last summer and it just feels really good to be back. But this time, even better, I'm living right next to the hospital pretty much. It's like a 10, 15 minute walk. It's just so nice to be like in the city, have access to like core power and all the things that are awesome about Boston. So it's been really great. And I'm living with my friend Satchel. We've been friends since we were really little kids and actually our moms were friends before we were friends. They're the reason that we like met and they're gonna come visit us in late July. So that will be really fun. Um, do my makeup and I want to tell you guys about Merit. So I've included Merit in a couple of my videos because they're my favorite and um, I'm gonna start off, I just kinda did my base, my skincare and now I'm gonna use the complexion stick from Merit. I've been using this ever since they first sent it to me. I think it is like one of the best um, complexion sticks like concealer foundations I've ever used um, it's so buildable and you can use it as a concealer or a foundation and it just blends right into my skincare I also have really dry skin and it's really nice that it's kind of it just like blends in and it doesn't get cakey I seriously I can't say enough good things about this product it's incredible it's really brightening, it's really light. Sometimes I do a base coat and then I'll go in and do like a little bit more on my inner corner if I wanna build that. But today is probably just, I'm probably just gonna do one coat. And then one more Merit product. I'm gonna use the blush in Raspberry Beret. And I love this blush. It's so pretty and it's kind of like not really a summery color, but I don't even care because it works um, all the time. And again, just so easy to blend in, blends right in with this, with this brush, but also I can use my fingers if I need to. It stays all day, especially if I set it with a little bit of loose, loose blush on top. So I'm gonna take a little over my nose, up on my cheeks. I'm gonna do a little mascara, Tartlet Tubing Mascara. If you have not yet entered the world of tubing mascara, this stuff is so awesome. It comes off in 
like tubes, like basically like coats your eyelash. So when you take makeup remover to it, oh gosh, I'm making a mess. You can close your eye and put your finger down and just like slowly open your eye and then it'll all come off. It's magical. Whoever created tubing mascara is a genius. And I'm gonna just use a tiny little bit of powder under my eyes because I'm looking a little shiny today. I'm gonna set it with some setting spray. This is the part about bangs that's not so fun. When they're wet and they're in your face and you can't see anything. And lastly, I'm just gonna take some of this body oil. My mom got this for me and I love it. It's just, it smells really good. I'm just gonna put it on my chest. Sweet. Let's get dressed and make some breakfast. Also, you can see all the chia seeds that I spilled on the stove. avoiding this for a couple of days. I need to go do my laundry at the laundromat, get my laundry together. I'm gonna go get a coffee or an energy drink, I haven't decided yet, and then I'm gonna go to the laundromat, and I think I'm gonna bring my book, because then I can just sit there and hang out. <sighs> laundromat life. and I'm finally getting out of the house going to Trader Joe's but yeah Sasha and I had a good night last night we made a good dinner and then danced and had fun and it's been a lazy day so far but I'm excited to I'm excited to go to Trader Joe's get some groceries for the week
8.37 in the morning and I'm I just checked my email and got I mean, like connected to the VPN and everything that I needed to do there and I just heard from my boss um, about the next step in the research acquisition that I'm doing so I'm just pulling up my spreadsheet and power chart which is like the database that holds all the patient charts so then I'm gonna go through with all the medical record numbers and pull out the final little bit of information that we need for these patients and I'm excited because once we have this information then we can start doing data analysis and we can start doing the writing for the actual paper but yeah my days in the office normally are just doing research so a lot of spreadsheet work a lot of going through patient charts emails um, things like that and it's kind of a gloomy day outside today so I don't know if I'll be going as soon as I go over to Harvard Medical School for lunch so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys that because it's like literally right like one block away um, so maybe we can do that for lunch if it's not gloomy outside <laughs> That building back there is Boston Children's Hospital new Boston Children's Hospital Boston Children's Hospital's new Hale building, which is like the super modern new building they just built. And then this is all Harvard Med right here. And then on the other side of this building is Boston Children's Hospital. And then over there is Beth Israel and some of the research institutes. And then on the other side of this, on the other side, is Brigham and Women's. So it's all in this little spot, which is so awesome. So I've been wanting to give you guys like an overview of what actually my internship is this summer. And since I've done it last summer too, I feel like I kind of know what to expect. So even, even though it's only week four, now I guess of my internship? Math, I don't know. Even though it's the beginning of my internship. I feel like I still have a pretty good idea of like how the internship is structured. So most of the time I'm in the office doing clinical research. Last summer I had two projects. This summer I have one big project. And last summer they both turned into published papers, which is really exciting. So the first part of the project is acquiring the data, and most of the data is patient data from the hospital, from the surgeons in the otolaryngology department. So I'm using power chart and I'm finding patient data and I'm pulling out what we want. I don't think I'm technically allowed to tell you guys about my project yet for this summer. Not totally sure on that, but my project for last summer was about this super rare nasal tumor that um, only boys like in their like adolescence get and um, it's called juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma or JNA because like who the heck is gonna say that whole thing every time but anyway that was one of my projects last summer another project I had last summer was just a specific patient who had a really rare um, diagnosis uh, trajectory so they were we did an index of suspicion which is basically like a case that breaks down exactly how they're diagnosis trajectory happened and 
um, kind of explains why there was confusion. This summer's project, I'm working with um, one specific diagnosis and a specific operation that was performed. So I'm getting to read a lot of operation notes, which has been really cool to kind of see how different surgeons summarize their surgeries and summarize their post-operative clinics and all those things. So it's been really cool so far. So that's a big part of my internship. And um, I've learned a lot from the, da the data part, but also from the writing part. I mean, it's like a lot of, you know, background research and writing for like, you know, the introduction and the discussion and the abstract and all. And then the other part of my internship is shadowing, which is probably my favorite part. Um, and that happens, I'd say like once or twice a week. Um, I'm in the hospital or in the clinic with Dr. Cunningham, my boss, and I'm uh, shadowing him in his day. And whether that's like being in the OR and scrubbing in and getting to assist or watch a procedure, normally a head and neck surgery. Um, and then sometimes I get to shadow some of his colleagues. And then when I'm in the clinic, I'm just basically following him around and watching his um, follow-ups or pre-ops or um, all these different kinds of appointments that he has with, with children. Um, and that part's been really cool because I love the way that doctors are with children and I love the whole environment of being around children and it's just really special. And then the last part of my internship is that for one week of the summer, I'm gonna get to shadow one of the surgeons in the otolaryngology department on her cost week. And cost is chief of service, so she's gonna be running the whole service in the hospital, which means picking up any emergency department, pages, or anything that's like geared towards otolaryngology, she's gonna be on it, like any emergency OR cases or whatever. So that's gonna be really long days for a week. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of OR time and a lot of like patient interaction in the OR and I probably won't be doing that much research that week. So that'll be later in the summer. Um, I'm very excited for that. So yeah, that's a little bit about my internship and I'll try to show you guys as much as I can of it. There's obviously like I can't show parts of it considering that a lot of it's with patients or working on patient data that I'm not allowed to share. But if you guys have any questions, let me know um, about like this internship or any parts of it, but I really enjoyed it and I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to get to be in the OR and do research and learn all the things that I'm learning this summer. It's been really wild and especially get to get to do it again and have like a new perspective this time. And I don't know, it feels unreal. But yeah, let me know if you guys have questions. How far down is it? It's too far down. It's okay, I did that yesterday. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's okay, so good. Fun. Yeah. Uh, later. There's like a better brand that my friend is like, this brand's better. Like, cool. I feel like we should use it. Is that it? Yeah. Go ahead, throw it in. If it's too strong, we just add more water. That's fine. I like being really dead.
I just got back from work and yoga and I had a meeting for something to do on campus and then now I'm just killing time before such when I go to a sauna. There's these like floating pools where you like lay for an hour. I'll try to take you guys along with me. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to film but I'm really excited to have a solstice moment. So yeah, it's been a good day too. Work was good, yoga was good, dinner was good, meeting was good. This is gonna be good. It's just the longest day of the year is a good day. So sweet. First day, let's start there. Routine surgery is a light schedule, home by five. Including the I surrender, which is good for those with upper back and neck pain. The plank, which is very common position. Mummy, smile dance, and several more. Find a comfortable position. <sighs> morning somehow the week is already a Thursday which is kind of crazy but it's sure been a good week last night that float bath was so cool I kind of can't get over it it was so meditative to just like float it was like a zero gravity state because it was a super salty bath like 200 pounds of salt or something I was in there for 60 minutes and I didn't fall asleep but I my head was like empty I had no thoughts it was so peaceful I slept so good feel good today. Every morning on my walk to work, I listen to the Glennon Doyle podcast, We Can Do Hard Things. And it's Glennon Doyle, her wife, Abby Wambach, and her sister, Amanda, and Glennon's sister. And they are such wise women and they're hosting people on their podcast and having conversations about life and how to be a human and how to be a better human. And um, the three of them have just become like the the words of my like my my internal voice in the morning and I love it so much and I literally listen to them every single day so I'm gonna go back to listening to my podcast and it's such a beautiful day so I'm really enjoying my walk to work look at this
good. The office has been good. I got some work done this morning and rather I just have a couple hours left after lunch. And then I just, I just got a coffee because I feel like I needed a pick me up. Even though I had a Celsius this morning, which you know should be enough, but whatever. Normally my work day starts at 8. I have lunch around somewhere between 12 and 1 for 30 minutes. I end work at 4.30. And then I have a yoga class at 5.45. So after work, I'll go to yoga and then I'll go home. And I don't know yet what the plan is. And then next week I'm working from home pretty much all week. So I'll probably do some grocery shopping and get set up for that. And I think Satchel's going on a work trip. So I'll be home by myself. So yeah, life is good. It's a good week. <laughs>